Right, so, reg rectifier problems, fuse block and general electrics. Has to be said, pretty, pretty shocking on these. However, I have been quite fortunate with this particular bike. I haven't had the usual meltdown of the fuse box at all or anything. But, joining cable here, this has been replaced not so long ago by my local mechanic. So far so good, but I haven't ridden it or an awful lot really. Now, doing research, a lot of people are hardwiring this. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hardwire it. Straight from the rectifier. See the three yellow cables there. So I bought some, uh, that's about 12 gauge yellow cable that is. Um, but can't get any for loving and money on the uh, it's internet. So, I bought some 10 gauge, however, I only bought a meter. Should have bought a couple of meters, really, because I've got a I wanted to do it straight from there, hardwire it all the way down to where it goes down to the stator, just here. However, what I should probably do is use predominantly most of that wire in there and get rid of the thinner stuff here because that looks like it might be about 8 gauge, a little bit thinner. So if we have the thicker wire coming from the starter, stator, linking up to that, cutting out, hard wiring that, that should cut down on the resistance. That's the theory anyway. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to build the wire, sort the wires out for this before I start unplugging and cutting. Now the other one is where the positive and negative come out of the reg rec. Two positive, two negative there. Now. What they do, come along here into this connector, and this connector goes into the loom in there somewhere. Now, other advice taken was hardwire it from that point, obviously from the reg rec, replace those wires, go direct, directly to the battery. So that's what I'm gonna do, connect to the battery. And also recommended we put a 30 amp fuse in there just in case okay so that's the plan that's what we're going to do a bit of rewiring because i just don't want that to have a meltdown again you can actually see the last time i did i reckon i've got a bit of wet in it and the terminals are probably you know probably a bit loose in there but where this was before slightly back there yeah the old wet got in it melted and actually started melting the box there as well anyway that's done but I'm not not convinced I don't want it to go on again because this cost me like nearly 500 odd quid to get two rectifiers now one stator a new battery and mechanics time so this is for everybody now to uh, well for me to learn how to do it myself and to pass it on to you guys because there's not that many videos of this specific uh, job on Tinternet. Well, if there is, I couldn't find it. Well, I'm crap at searching anyway. So, there we go, that's that. And uh, we'll crack on with it.